my project for today was converting my winch and my car trailer from a remote control to a wireless remote control. I was at Tractor Supply, found this. It's a uh, Traveler's wireless remote control. It says it's good for 100 feet. Easy plug and play, so I figured I'd uh, take a gamble and see if it worked with my winch and of course it didn't. Uh, the connector on the Traveler had a four pin and my winch had a three pin. So I took it apart and figured out that mine has three wires coming out of the old controller black, green, and white. Well, I had to figure out what was what, so I took the circuit board out of the box and I came up with green, brown, red, and black. Black then crosses over, comes out, and then goes to this lead here. Well, trying to figure out which is which on the original remote I was able to figure out that white is basically your main power source that goes into the remote and when you hit the out switch white and black get connected internally and it lets the winch extend and then when you want to retract the winch white and green get powered or get connected internally and it winds the winch in so looking at the back of the circuit board, I assumed that red is my power. So I went ahead and I connected the red to white. And then I had to take a guess on the other two, but I guessed black and green. And then I guessed green and brown. Well, I went and tested it and it works perfectly fine. In is in, out is out. The only thing that you have to do is that you have to make sure that this ground gets grounded. I'm assuming somewhere on the circuit board the ground gets connected and that's what wakes it up. Um, so I will go ahead and make my final connections and uh, make it look nice and then I will mount it in the trailer. But just want to let you guys know, for 30 or $40, whatever it was, uh, it's a very quick and easy way to convert your winch to wireless. See ya.